comments be like changing the wallpaper it's easy just right click the desktop how hard can it be well let me tell you yes changing the wallpaper is easy if you're John Smith from I don't know England but if you're KDE and you want to change the default wallpaper well you're going to lose some time so you could say yes but it's just changing a file it's not going to take much well, yes, but you, we don't just change the file of the wallpaper and that's it. We also want to A, preserve the old wallpaper. So basically we take the old one and we move it to another repository. And sure, it's very easy. You just need to move it and uh, it to the make file and then, you know, git branch, uh, commit it to the branch and git pull. That's easy. But you need to know that wallpaper uh, are not just files we actually have entire folders about it containing various metadata like the author and stuff like that but we just need to create a new folder for the new wallpaper and that's it right well no we also have in breeze many many uh, previews of you know the light version of breeze the dark version of breeze and so on the lock screen etc and all of those use the wallpaper and we cannot let the preview or use old wallpapers so each time we need to pop up the application always in the same spots the lock screen the login screen screenshot them screenshot each application um, sorry the application for each theme light dark twilight then get all of those screenshots together make copies of them to have a higher resolution jpeg copy and a lower resolution png that's what we do and move it to the right folders which is like six different folders in two different repositories that takes time and it's annoying and we have to do it like every three months so we also need <laughs> to change um, the wallpaper size and generate lots of sizes for the wallpaper we don't have just a uh, 5k version of it we also have hd full hd the various aspect ratios one wallpaper for mobile we need to crop it vertically so that it's pretty there are various things to do. So after years of doing it manually and losing lots of time, I decided decided for 5.23 to do a script. And these are the kind of things that user usually don't even know about, but I just lost hours to do that. So I just wanted to share the script with you. So it's pretty simple. It just looks simple, but it isn't. Um, I won't go through each line because it's useless, but the general concept is one, we need to, you know, I, I've got some util uh, classes, but let's skip past them. But I have very important one, we need to git uh, check out the master branch, git pull if possible, like sure remove that because it kept freezing at that step. So no git pull for us. We need to delete the branch we are going to work on if it already exists, make a new one, switch to that one. And that's the git setup. Then we need to move the wallpaper actually Sorry, before that, we need to know where the repositories are. So we ask the user, where is the folder for Breeze? Where is the folder for Plasma Workspace? Blah, 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 very boring. Then we move the wallpaper from Breeze to Plasma Workspace wallpapers, where we keep all of the old wallpapers. After doing that, we change the metadata file, sorry, the make file, then we create a new directory for the new wallpaper, we generate the sizes, we go on, take the size that we want and use it uh, to create the previews. Now, one approach that I could have done was to just set it automatically as a wallpaper, then pop up the windows in the right positions, take a screenshot all from the script, but I thought that it was going to be pretty difficult. So what I did was just to take a screenshot of each application, put them in the right spots and made the wallpaper transparent. So I just have to take that image and overlay it on top of the wallpaper. That means we lose transparency because I cannot start blurring just like Plasma does, but I think it's a good trade-off. For the login and lock screen wallpapers, I manually blur them 
and then I draw on top the UI of the login and lock screen, which is actually the same because I'm lazy. Also, those UIs are not the actual UIs, but a mock-up of them I made in Inkscape, which I hope <laughs> is pretty realistic. So yes, those are fake previews. So shh, don't tell anybody or I get in trouble. And when you're, we've done that, we can then uh, commit everything so minus a commit and then we can let the developer git push to master so it really seems really easy when you look all through it but it took some time and hopefully it will save a lot of work hours from now on so yeah that's what i'm doing with KDE. bye this is the outro, a couple of announcements. One, I hit 2000 subscribers and I'm very happy, so that's good. Also, I've received one comment two videos ago about my hair and beard. No, actually it was just about the beard, I think. But I'm going to cut my hair like next week and I'll also tint it yellow. So you'll see me differently, bye.